Welcome back to Paranorma Site! We are picking up Yako Sakazaki's story today with Hitomi's help. The aftermath of what went on that crazy high school night, I, I feel like there were answers that we needed that we didn't get. That crazy high school night. Bringing her friend Bra uh, back from the dead means she'll have to pay the price. Yako makes it home safely, but still isn't sure about how to proceed with her curse. She worries about Mio as the night passes. You know, when we were playing as Shogo at the very beginning, it was extremely unfortunate that she didn't even get a word out. And he was just like, Ah, oh, curse, dead! Mm-hmm. Yep. What a dick. Hello. Hello. Oh, good morning, Yako. Huh? Boy. Yako, rise and shine. <laughs> You're up. Huh? It's morning. Um, I... Are you okay? Can you remember your name? Does... <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this is a selection! What ha... Uh, the Spectre of the Spirit Board! <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? I think we should try it. Yes, I am the Spectre of the Spirit Board. No, no, don't fall back asleep. <laughs> you must be dreaming. Wake <laughs> up. <laughs> yes, I'm Yako Sakazaki. <laughs> that was really good. Good. Oh, Mio, thanks for last night. Was everything okay? Yep, still alive. I, I can see that. I couldn't dispel the curse echo or learn the identity of who used it, but I managed to at least get away. But in that situation, it's the best that you can help for. I'm sorry I got you involved in something so dangerous. I meant to look for you as soon as the sun rose, but I was just so sleepy. I can't even remember when I fell asleep. It's okay. It's only natural to be exhausted after what you went through. Besides, I also feel bad that you've been wrapped up in all this. It's supposed to be my job to prevent that from happening. Oh yeah, you said something about that last night. Oh, just who are you exactly, Mio? <laughs> oh, well, um... <laughs> the truth is, I've been trained in things having to do with the supernatural. Huh? You mean you can learn that kind of stuff like you would with flower arranging? I had quite the eventful childhood. Ah, uh, that sounds like it must have been tough. Yes, it would take a long time to explain, so let's leave it at that for now. Explain! As fate would have it, I've ended up as the apprentice, or maybe more like assistant, to a notable paranormal expert. Eh? Schools have always had more paranormal disturbances because young people tend to be more susceptible to these things. Ooh. I'm sent to schools that may experience something paranormal and put a stop to it before it happens. Wow, that's amazing! So it's like a part-time job you do while also being a student? Well, I do help maintain public order, but it's all part of my training, so I don't get any money. Mmm, working for free. You got it rough, then. But still, that really is amazing. Uh, yeah. You were so cool when you faced off against the evil spirit. Uh, yeah. I don't never know if I should be happy when you compliment me like that. Like, seriously, you're an er you're a turbo nerd. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> that's why it's up to <laughs> me to resolve any paranormal issues at the school. And why I'm going to look into the cause of all this. Um, stop. This took away my my immersion, <laughs> actual curses, and a paranormal fighting girl. Uh-uh. But for now, let's head to school. Yeah. Oh, do you have your curse stone? Yes. Now that it's daytime and its power is diminished, I should be able to hold on to it. Want to give it a try? Uh, right. I do have it, but... Mmm... -hmm. Yako? I, I thought it was a candy, so I ate it. <laughs> Trying to bring Michio back, I mean. Mm, I can't approve of it. The right may seem like a dream coming true, but if it involves taking the lives of other people, then... Yeah, true. I want to make sure this whole ritual ends without anyone getting hurt. That's what I believe, and what I'll put before anything else. No. I'm sorry, but is it okay if I hold on to it? Yako. I promise I won't use the curse, no matter what. But maybe there's some other way. 
I just have this feeling that I shouldn't give up on the possibility just yet. That said, I'll help you, even if it's to stop the curses. For the, the Michio that still exists within me, I'll settle things so that we can move forward. Oh. <laughs> that could be a reaction game, a reaction image. <laughs> yeah, thank you. She's looking like, is this bitch serious? <laughs> exactly. Gamer, are you hearing this crap? Like, do you think she's really gonna convince me that she's gonna like? Mm-hmm. Okay, but if you ever feel in danger, you can give me this curse stone at any point. Right. Thank you, Mio. Okay, then let's go. Files updated. And so they went to school. Unfortunately. 8 a.m. God, kids gotta go to school early. I, I can't do that anymore. Uh-oh. Oh, it's closed because the teacher died. What? Huh? I thought it unusually noisy. I thought it unusually noisy. Oh, yeah. That actually makes sense. That's a sentence. There's a group of people in police in front of the school. Did something happen? Oh, sorry, that sentence is giving me like, wait, would you use that in that? That is a sentence, but not in that context. Anyway, it still works. If the police are here, then something must have. <gasps> I'll go ask. Thanks. Hey, did someone fucking die over here? Yeah, someone fucking died. <laughs> Want to oh see? My. Yako, someone fucking died in there. <laughs> this isn't good. Huh? What happened? Um, don't panic, okay? <laughs> <laughs> The first teacher who came to work this morning found something. Okay. <sighs> Mr. Jonochi was found dead in the middle of the school grounds. Go oh, what? They're closing the school for today. But that's not all. I didn't know this either since I didn't watch the morning news, but rumors were spreading that a number of bodies were found nearby. Yay. What? There's no way. Don't look at me. I didn't do it. Why? Could it be because of the curse? You don't know enough to say. From what I heard, Mr. Genochi's body was in the middle of the grounds. But his body was covered in bruises, like he'd fallen from somewhere high. Uh-oh. Weird. Taking into account his unnatural death and the timing, it's very likely it has something to do with the curse. You're saying someone used their curse on him last night? Seems like it, doesn't it? But that's so scary! Yeesh, so the curses really do kill people. Wow, Mio, you don't have an alibi. Mm. And someone used it. Shh, keep your voice down, okay? What would happen if another curse bearer heard you? <laughs> yeah, sorry! I hope another curse bearer doesn't come near me! I wish we had a little more information, but they've locked up the front gate. Maybe we could sneak into the back entrance. <laughs> <laughs> that person over there. Aww. Isn't that Hitomi Okuda? Uh-oh, you're right. That's unusual. Oh, but she was at the school last night, too. She must know something about Mr. Genochi. <laughs> Let's see what she has to say. Hands together, ready ready to investigate. Yes! All right. Oh, Mio, wait for me! Hey, did you hear that someone fucking died in there? Huh? Huh. <sighs> So, so, you, it, <laughs> so you're telling me the two of you were the ones at the school last night? Wow, deep register. No sense hiding it then. Plus, I owe you, Mio. I'll tell you everything I know. Oh, that was easy. Thank you. She owes you? Oh, um, yeah. Right after I transferred here, there was a bit of trouble. She gave me one of those, uh, <laughs> what was it? Oh, oh exorcisms. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's what it was. So, about that death... Did you hear about Mr. Genochi? Heard about it. I've known about it since last night. <laughs> I, I was there. I saw that asshole bite it on the school grounds myself. <laughs> what? You saw it happen? Tell us about it. What happened exactly? Well, after I started wringing his neck, you know, I, I don't really know myself. It was pitch black. What can I tell you? What I can tell you is that I saw him kill over dead. It was almost dawn, probably around three. Started freaking out all of a sudden, ran out of the ground like something was chasing him. Then screamed, ah, Somebody help me! Forgive me, Michio! 
Yeah, something like that while he was running around. I would love it if that was Hitomi's impression of <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tonochi sound like, Michio? He mentioned Michio? Was there anyone else on the grounds? It was too dark to see from where I was. <laughs> but just for a second, I think I saw a girl in school uniform with hair in, braid, in braids or something like that. Oh? Mio did it. I didn't go out to make sure, so it could have been nothing for all I know. Then I heard him begging for his life like, That was wrong! You don't do anything! <laughs> then all of a sudden, his arms and legs just snapped. Oh! Even though he was just standing there. Jesus! His arms and legs broke without anything being done to him? He fell over and quit moving, so I thought I better get out of there. Yeesh. Then he croaked. That's all I saw. <laughs> yeah, she actually heard him go, ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's even better. I see. But from what you've told us, it almost sounds like Michio's ghost chased down Mr. Jonochi and killed him. Tell if I know anything about that. I'm just telling you what I heard him say. <laughs> um, <laughs> this girl's scary. Hey. <laughs> Can you believe this woman? Did you tell that story to the police? Nope, but I ain't gonna. Can't count on them for shit. Not like they'd believe such an insane story anyways. Right. But there must be at least one person in the police worth trusting, right? Uh... Yeah, I guess. There was this one cop who always got on my case about <gasps> stuff. But he just died the other day. <gasps> oh, he did? I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to hear that. Everyone who gets involved with me ends up dead. Maybe I really am cursed. Pisses me off. Curses piss me You've off. You've got it all wrong. The spirit that possessed you wasn't that kind of spirit. Huh? It wasn't? Yeah, this is just an unfortunate <laughs> uh, coincidence. Though I'm sure that was hard enough for you. Uh, <laughs> so I... <laughs> So anyway, about the exorcism. Hey, tell me, you were possessed by some kind of evil spirit? I don't understand it too well myself. Uh, what I can say for sure is, uh, right there, thanks to Mio, the weird symptoms that were happening to me all went away. Yep, some people are born with a natural sensitivity to the paranormal. They tend to end up isolated as they struggle to relate to the people around them. They also tend to draw spirits to them naturally. This can cause strange symptoms they don't understand, like headaches, muscle stiffness, and hallucinations, even memory problems. You see, that's it, Niskel. You just, you're just possessed by spirits. I am possessed by a spirit. I have all that. Sure, it must have been very hard. I need to get me an exorcise him. And so that's how it works, huh? Do people also have their personality taken over when possessed, too? It is possible with spirits to have a very close relationship to their target, like <laughs> siblings or a parent and child. But you almost never hear about people being taken over completely. It's when the two parties aren't in sync that these negative effects things start to appear. I was the the spirit of the message board earlier, so... So the seances or whatever you see on TV are all bogus? <laughs> Not quite. There are mediums and diviners who can align their minds with the spirits they call. Though there are people on TV who are just putting on a performance. Uh. <laughs> yeah, there too. are people who in life had extremely powerful oh. spirit sense or a deep connection with to, uh, with the person. But even they shouldn't be able to completely take over the person they possess. And even if they could, it'd only be enough to pressure them to choose certain behaviors that wouldn't be unusual for them to do on their own to begin with. Hmm, but if that's the case... Wouldn't you know if you were choosing that behavior of your own free will or not? Hence why there are lots of cases where people don't even realize they're possessed. Though the spirit may influence the behavior and memories of the host, the deeper their connection in life, the easier it is for that to occur. No, I see. Good boy, good boy. It's pretty, pretty complicated, huh? It must have been tough for you being possessed for so long, Hitomi. <laughs> Whatever might happen to me doesn't make any difference. Me being able to see spirits and stuff has nothing to do with how things ended up like this. Nothing. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's not like being able to see them is your fault either. Same goes for me. Maybe it's just something we have to live with. I think you have a knack for it yourself, Yako. I bet you could see them too with a little training. Oh god. Uh, I think I may pass. So anyway, about uh, about the death. 
That's all I know about that asshole's debt. <clears throat> hey, Mio. I've been thinking something. Oh, good. I was worried. Hmm? <laughs> Head empty. Palms are sweaty. <laughs> the way she described it reminded me of something. The way Mr. Ternochi died sounds a lot like how Michio died. Huh? You know, all dead and blood splattered and shit. Mangled. Of course, I didn't see it myself, but... The state Michio's body was in, it was like she had fallen from high up. Could they have been killed by the same curse? Ooh. I don't think so. The curses of the Seven Mysteries hadn't manifested when she died. And if we can't trust... Er, and if we can trust what the spirit board said, then Michio died in an accident. No. Oh. Right. No, that's all I know about an asshole's death, okay. Okay. Well, I have something else to say later. So, that's why you do the job you do, huh, Mio? I thought she was a widow when she showed up all of a sudden saying she was gonna exercise me. I don't want to get buff. If you hadn't said anything, I probably would have knocked your lights out. Oh. You tried to perform an exorcism on her without telling her anything? Uh, you see, in my experience, most people don't understand no matter how much I explain. They only accept my explanation after they see the results. Huh. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I want to see this. Hitomi, last night, before you witnessed Mr. Jonochi collapse, can I ask what he and you were doing in the classroom? Hey, none yeah. of your business. You gonna tell the cops? Oh. Yes. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, right, with everything that happened with Mr. Jonochi. They'll suspect you if we told them we saw you with him last that night. Anytime something happens with someone like me, all those shitty adults start jumping to conclusions. I understand. I won't tell them. You wouldn't have been able to kill him anyway. You're not a curse bearer. Uh, if you say so, I don't mind telling you about it. So last night... That piece of shit Tadochi called me over here acting like he was gonna attack me or something! Oh! What? How terrible! Whatever, I'm glad he's dead. He had it coming. Calling people worthless and a cancer on society when he doesn't know shit about them. Wow. That asshole was just, was the one always acting like scum if you ask me. Is that so? Could you tell us in more detail why he called you out in the middle of the night? It's hard to explain. Where to start? Oh, okay. All the misdeeds. Let's, let's, let's go. What did you mean by Mr. Tenochi acting like scum? Was he doing something bad? Uh, Low life teacher. You know Michio Shirai Shirai, the girl who killed herself? I live and breathe her. Huh? Michio? I don't know everything, but that creep of a teacher had some dirt on her. And he was using it to blackmail her. Call her up after school and make her do whatever he wanted. Scumbag teacher. Oh my. Scumbag teacher. What, what do you mean when you say whatever he wanted? Oh dear. I'll leave it to your imagination. Part cheesy, uh, trouble, uh, sorry. Maybe the game of chess, life? Uh, you know, apples to basket. <laughs> Candyland. <laughs> Nothing that a couple model students like you would ever get involved in. Uh, thankfully, we don't get details. No, no way. That's. How? What do you mean by dirt? I don't know anything about this! I, I, how could I have known about this? Yako, I know how you feel, but try to calm down. You got guts acting like you were a friend. <clears throat> Jinochi really did a number on both Michio's body and soul. She probably felt like she couldn't tell anyone, like she had to suffer alone. No. How terrible. But tell me, how do you know about this? I just happened to walk in on it. Oh. I know the spots around school people go to when they want to stay out of sight. He ran off in a panic when I yelled at him about acting, asking what he was doing. Walked in on it? Ooh. I couldn't just leave her alone looking like she was about to cry, so I stuck around for a bit. She told me everything that happened in, whis in whispers. Whispers. She probably figured I, was, I wasn't I was the type to spread that stuff around. 
but she never asked for my help. She told me that she was fine and to keep it a secret. Michio, why? She probably thought she had to grit her teeth till it was through. She was naive. I tried to tell her that if you get, give guys like that an inch, they'll take a mile. She kept saying about how it was a punishment. She was soft. No. She's not soft. She was squishy like a marshmallow. No! Of course, you know she didn't change. She kept on doing what he was doing. I don't understand either of them. That's as much as I was involved. And then she killed herself. Nothing I can do, nothing I can do about it now. Um, uh, yeah. You tell me. If you knew about it, then why didn't you... Trying to say it's my fault? <laughs> she told me not to say anything. She told me she was fine. So what the hell more responsibility do I have than what I already did? Yako, there's no mm -hmm. point blaming Hitomi. Mm -hmm. Michio, why? What's the dirt? Yeah, t tell me the deets. Did you hear what this dirt was? Nope, never heard what it was. Damn. From the sound of it, he'd been blackmailing her since about a year ago. What the fuck? For that long? Dick probably caught her doing something she shouldn't have been. She looked well behaved, but there's more to a person than meets the eye, you know. There must be some reason. Dunno, got nothing to do with me. Alright, well that tracks. So last night, how did it start? Ah, right. Remember that nosy cop I mentioned who was always on my case? He died at the former house of the gardens a couple days ago. Eh, hey, Yoshimi was his name. Eh, he was a part of the juvenile division. He didn't look like a cop at all, real rough guy, but good, good at looking at the folks. So he was the only one I could talk to. Huh, so there was someone like that with the police. Too bad he ended up dying. <laughs> ah, another thing. One time he suddenly introduced his fiancée to me. Oh. It was hilarious seeing a big guy like that, I'd like the... Act like a shy kid, a little kid all of a sudden. Aw, that's adorable. She told me that she was like me when she was my age, and that she was on my side. It must have been a terrible loss for her, too. Yeah, I do feel a little bad for her when I think about how sad she must be. And I, uh, I saw him at the gardens and I he died. D uh, you have been privy to all of this! Oh, no. How is Hitomi not a target? Whenever I would get worked up over something, Yoshimi always took me straight to the park, to that park. Then he listened to whatever it was I was pissed off about. That day, he called me over there like usual. But something seemed off about him, like he was worried about something. Worried about something? Yeah, he asked me for a favor, too. That was pretty unusual. A favor? What kind of flavor? He handed me a weird talisman and asked me to hold on to it for him. Ooh. A talisman? Yeah, just a normal good luck charm. I figured if that's it, then sure, I'll take it. I have it with me now. That wasn't all. And he told me he wanted me to look for a talisman in Michio Shirai she had that looked like this one. Huh? Michio? What does she have to do with this? She has the talisman, didn't you listen? Yoshimi had been meeting up and talking with her. While they, were, while they were together, I noticed that she had, like, a special talisman or something. But apparently, Michio always avoided the subject. A talisman that Michio had. He knew that I knew her, so that's why he asked me, he said. And then she said that I said that he knew that white. And that's how gossip starts. Could there have been something that Michio couldn't tell even the police about? I know things at home are a little... complicated. From what I heard, Michio was keeping her mouth shut about what Jonochi was doing to her. I heard a talk with the cops when someone's got dirt on you. Dirt. And I didn't squeal or anything about Michio either. <laughs> I ain't no snitch. I ain't no snitch. Uh, Michio, what is it that had such a strong grip on you? So basically, Yoshimi didn't have his eye on Michio, but a talisman too. Didn't just have her eye. But even after she died, he didn't know where it ended up. So since I knew her from school, he wanted me to look into it for him. Is there something special about the two talismans? I wonder why he gave it to you. Hell if I know, when I looked inside it, there was just a weird look, gr look, a kind of grimy scrap of wood. So you've seen inside it? From the way he was acting, it seemed important to him somehow. But to be honest, what he was asking is such a pain in the ass, I figured he had to be serious about it. Oh, and since he died right after that... 
Yeah, he even said to me. If anything happens to me, take these two talismans. Give them to a guy named Nagagoshi. N Nakagoshi at the police department. Knowing what I know now, he probably felt that something was going to happen to him. Huh? Nakagoshi? Hmm, do you know him, Mio? No, I've just heard the name, I think. So there really is a Nakagoshi. That's a relief, at least. Anyway, it didn't feel right just ignoring a dead guy's last request. Who's got the talisman now? Hitomi. Yeah. <laughs> a talisman. Would you mind if I had a look at it? <laughs> Sorry. I don't trust you all that much yet. It's important to me. Oh, okay. Hmm, okay. Okay. So last night, you were looking for the talisman Michio had. Yeah. And I figured that piece of garbage teacher would know the most about Michio. Mm. I asked him yesterday afternoon if he knew anything about a talisman. He gave me some cryptic response like, I can't talk about it now, come to school tonight. He even gave me the code to the lock on the back entrance. He seemed pretty willing to give it out, so I wouldn't be surprised if he used it for secret meetings before. Yuck. I can only imagine. We climbed over the front gate to get in. So, so yeah, we met up in the classroom in the middle of the night. But nothing he said made any sense. Like that guy was really Michio and stuff like that. He went on and on about it. That was my fault and that if I hadn't been around or something. He grabbed a hold of me, breathing heavily, like... <laughs> Were you okay? Yeah, that's right when you two showed up. I was about to get away when Jonochi was freaking out. Oh my gosh. Good thing you got away. Hmm. So it's really all thanks to you two that I got away. <laughs> it's hard doing these voices. Nah, uh, I'll take over. Okay. But I didn't get any info about the talisman, so the whole thing was sort of a bust. Afterward, I was wondering what you two were up to, so I hid nearby. Then I saw you and old man Ashimi is talking, and then Mio showed up. Oh, you did? That's why I also, that's why I saw Junochi come back outside and bite it. I see. So you were only here to look for Michio's talisman. Oh, man. Mm, I was dumb to fall for that creep Jonoshi's trap so easy. It could have gone a lot worse, but I lucked out. Thanks, bitches. <laughs> you helped me. What you described does sound like Michio killed Mr. Jonochi. She did have a reason to hate him, after all. A vengeful spirit, perhaps? No way. You mean like... You mean that really was her ghost? Like, for real? Those who die bearing strong resentment or regret can occasionally become spirits, either bound to a place or roaming freely. However, it'd usually be impossible for them to kill the living. Most don't have that kind of power. It's possible they could possess someone close to them to act on those lingering regrets. Huh. Wonder if that's what happened. All right, then supposing what the spirit board said is true and Michio's death was an accident, then she must have had some regrets. If she really hadn't given up on living, that is. I don't think she was the kind of girl who would just give up no matter what the situation. I don't really know, but uh, she didn't seem like she had something tormenting her so much that she'd kill herself. Hmm. And then night fell. <laughs> and that's all I know. Happy? Still gotta look for the talisman. Sure. Thank you, Hitomi. Oh. If you two find out anything about Michio's talisman... Shove it up your ass! We'll be sure to let you know. Go to hell. Thanks. Oh, can we get your contact info? Where we can normally find you? Right. I'm not home most of the time. Usually I'm at a friend's place. Here's the phone number. We just scored some digits, hell yeah. We just scored some digits. We, we just, just scored some digits. We just scored some digits. Thanks, we'll call her if we need to talk with you. And, um... What is it? You're easier to talk to than I imagined. I was kind of scared at first, but not anymore. I'll rip your face off. Shut up. You were the one avoiding me. Anyway, catch you later. Don't die out there, okay? Ominous. 
Thanks. We'll be careful. Ominous. Ominous. Uh, that took some time. That did. Ominous. All right, then. We got a lot of new information. Sounds like Mr. Genocci was killed by a curse, just as we thought. I, that side look is, is always means, like, detective mode activate. <laughs> Which means there was a curse bearer at the school. Multiple, Multiple in fact. fact. Multiple? Well, you think so? Yes. The curse echo we experienced in the school and the one that killed Mr. Genocci seemed to be different. Ooh. The people in the school at the time, other than us, were... Mr. Genocci Hitomi... Or, M Mr. Genocci Hitomi... And old man Ashimiya, who you ran into. Uh, I was thinking it would be among them, but... There was one more person. Hitomi saw a girl in a school uniform with braids. From what Hitomi was saying, it doesn't seem like she's one. Mr. Genochi is pretty suspicious, though. Yeah. I mean, I mean... If he, w if he were a curse bearer, it would certainly explain why he was killed. Right. That's why I say there are multiple. Oh, right. The person who killed Mr. Dronochi would have would have to be one too. Which means it must be either the mysterious girl or old man Ashimiya. Yeah, you should certainly be careful of them. That said, the mysterious girl and the fact that Mr. Dronochi thought it was Michio that was attacking him had me wondering. Of course, I doubt Michio herself was actually there, but... Oh! I just remembered! I also saw Mr. Ar Ar Araishi outside the main gates last night. You did? It's likely he's involved with the curses, given that he's one of he's the one doing research on the Rite of Resurrection. Ooh. So we'll have to be careful of old man Ashimiya and Mr. Araishi. Wow. I, I want to believe, believe that, that not all curse bears will be lost. I know how much you really want to talk. Yeah, I want to get through this. I know, I know. Talky, talky, talk, talk, talk. But... What if everyone's a curse bear? As for what to do now... I'd like to find who is responsible for the Feast of Shadows that set this off and how they did it. I don't think we'll be able to end this without stopping it at its source. Hmm, that makes sense. In which case, next we should do... what exactly? PANIC! We need to talk with Mr. Araishi. He definitely knows something. It should be safer during the day, so I think we should try to look for him. Got it. I'll help in any way I can. I kind of like that Yako is the one with the curse stone, but also the one who's being carried along for this detective case. <laughs> I wonder where he could be. Let's go, Frodo. Let's try <laughs> heading someplace someone may know where he is. I bear the one stone. Where'd he go, then? Yeah, where are we heading? Well, out of all the places, we're going to be heading to... Komagata High School. Weren't we just here? Isn't there someone just coming back? Uh... Uh... They won't notice me if my back is turned. And so... Miyokuro Suzu and Yako did something. They did... Uh... uh th oh! That's the end. Decided on their next location to investigate. So, alright. Yeah, they're done. Or it's, it's suspended for now. Hmm, okay, no leads. So, fancy sushi time. Back to fancy shoot. Fancy. <laughs> fancy sushi. Fancy, fancy sushi. sushi. Fancy sushi. That's almost a tongue that twister. That I sell by the seashore. Yeah, that's a tongue twister. Definitely. Okay. Uh, probably the Shiraishi household. Kamagata High School. Oh, really? Oh, right, because we're, cause we're meeting up with them. Yes, 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 yes. There they are. Hi, boss. Here we are. Come, we got a high. Don't look at me like that. It's weird. <laughs> Classes are suspended for the day, so the students are just kind of wandering around aimlessly. <laughs> what do we do? There's a school. I don't have any meaning. <laughs> what am I going to do? That's... Boss, what is it? You want to talk to those girls? I do. <laughs> Yeah, I do. This is divine intervention. We were brought here for a reason. Oh my god. Come on, Ariel. Okay, okay, huh? What? Hi, Mio. One, two, three. Three ways he died. Hey, aren't you... You must be that high schooler skirting the child labor laws who I've heard so much about. Um, 
Say that again. Uh-huh. Uh, sorry about that. He's with me. Mr. Tsutsumi, if that's how you feel, maybe you should look into improving my working conditions. I'd prefer not to work for free, to be honest. Uh, don't worry about that. If you help us out, you can have whatever you want. Boss of Street. Wait. It's... Really? Thank ah! you so much. I've always <laughs> wanted to go to a fancy sushi place. Oh, yeah. Like one of those places in Ginza. I've never been. Let's go. <laughs> we, we, got, <laughs> we got ourselves a deal, right, boss? The, the girls are at our service. Uh, oh, oh, hold on. <laughs> what just happened? I, I never said... Sushi? Uh, looking forward to it, boss. Oh, wait, since when were you included? <laughs> you guys are funny. You should do stand-up. Not at this pay grade. <laughs> so, how much were you, have you been able to figure out? Well, I know what happened around midnight last night. Someone invoked the Feast of Shadows, which boosts the power of curses, then brought forth the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. Ooh. That allows even those who do not have the power to cast curses to gather soul dregs for the Rite of Resurrection. At least that's my hypothesis. Sounds about right so far. As I'm sure you know, there are actually nine mysteries, not seven. When the Feast of Shadows was cast, the curse stones appeared before those who wanted the Rite at the locales of the Seven Mysteries. We've managed to gather mm. three curse stones so far, including the one I got first, the Evergreen Beach. You got three already? Wow. We have <clears throat> we have the curse stone of the Foolish Procession. Well, Yako, the girl standing behind me, does. That's me, Yako, the girl standing behind me. Oh, hi. She does. Is she all right? We could take her off your hand. Well, the Feast of Shadows has no effect during the day. And there's still something I want to find out. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, I'll weave the fool's possession with you two, then. God, I love that. It's such a good gag. So Thank you. Silly. Please keep collecting the other curse stones. I'll be looking for a way to stop the Feast of Shadows. And I'm here, too! Okay, got it. <clears throat> that should make things go more smoothly. What about the other curse bearers? Have you run into any of them? Well, last night at school... You were here last night? Er, yes. You see... Spooky mystery girl stuff. Mm -hmm. Huh. You two are using a spirit board? That's so cool! So that's when you ran into the curse echo. I'm glad you survived the encounter. Somehow. We managed to get away without accidentally setting it off. The curse echo we saw took the shape of a woman missing an arm and a leg. Ooh. What? Ooh. A woman missing an arm and a leg, that's... Oh my god, it's the... The one-sided one one read? read. Hey, I was right! The one-sided read, this is bad. Huh? Why you buy my dad one? You <laughs> idiot, think! <laughs> the curse bearer of the one-sided <laughs> read is... Uh, 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 um, um, where, where is it, where is it? Hey, Fumichi Kanejima! Fumichi Kanejima, he admitted it himself, that's his curse! Wow, we found him already. Oh, that's right! Wait, but if that's the case... <laughs> Nejima <laughs> might have been here last night! Ah, uh, what?! I mean, it's possible he was lying to us, but... What?! I said it's possible he might have been lying to us, but... Um... Who's Nejima? <laughs> and they both fall over because those stances are too, uh, too overweighted. <laughs> too no, no clue. <laughs> oh, God. I so Nejima this. is trying to take advantage of the Feast of Shadows for his own nefarious purposes. Is that you get a magic in a city and send him to Oh, that? my God! And he's trying to get your daughter, too? That's why I've been trying to find him, but to no avail. Honestly, this information has been the most useful we've gotten so far. I am so shocked. So just to be sure, could you tell me who else was at the school last night? Yes, yes, yes. Well, so far, as far as we know, yes, 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 there yes, was yes. us, Mr. Jinochi, and one of our classmates, Hitomi. And don't forget old man Ashimiya. Wait, Hitomi? Do you mean Hitomi Okuda, second year student? Uh, well, yes. Why? Oh boy. Boss. So she was here last night. Mm hmm? Huh? <laughs> I saw Hitomi earlier, though, and she didn't seem like a curse bearer to me. You did? Did you talk to her? Um, yes. Would you mind if we asked you a few questions about that? 
Itomi said she didn't want to talk to the police because she was afraid she'd become a suspect. So I can't tell you anything unless you swear you won't drag her into this. Ah, uh, I see. Don't worry, this is about a different matter. A different matter? You mean about that police officer, Mr. Yoshimi? You know about that?! Did you tell me say something about him? Yes, she did, actually. And so I shall tell you about it, yes. Uh... About Fubuchika <laughs> You were talking about people who were at school last night. There was one more person, though I'm not too clear on the details. There was someone else? Apparently he told me I actually saw Mr. Junochi getting cursed and killed last night. What? Talk about some vital information. What she said happened was blah 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 blah. Broken arms, broken legs. Michio was the one who killed Mr. Donochi? Are you sure it was really Michio that he that she saw? Well, that's what she told me. I wasn't there. Um. That must mean there was another curse bearer here last night. Donochi was killed by a curse, so someone had to have been there, whether it was Michio or not. Oh damn, boy! Do you think I really could have been Michio's ghost? I mean, based on what we've heard, she does have plenty of wishes to be vengeful. Calm down. Just because the paranormal exists doesn't mean it's it, just anything is possible. It's still possible that Nejima was behind Jonochi's death. But what about Hitomi's story? It's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, just immediately. Uh, don't believe it's bullshit. I'm gonna fast forward through this, basically. Uh, you're interested We're in... Talk about the janitor now. No I mean... idea. He's around 50 years old, came to school about half a year ago. No one knows what he did before, uh, so there are all kinds of rumors about him. Yeah, uh, right, so I'm so, to get a better picture of all this. So it turns out this game is a lot more talky-talky than you thought, huh? Uh, we were, like, about halfway done, unfortunately. Uh, it's not a common for four to find... I mean, because we're basically just tying everything together that we already know, so that everybody else is caught up. This so. is, if you turn the game off, came back, and forgot all the details. Of course. Work the night shift, might still be in that overnight room. Here we go! So, the janitor there... Hmm. I called this, like, two episodes ago. The room's been empty all morning. Yep. Mm -hmm. Damn it. That confirms it. Just one more thing to check. Are there any photos of this Ashimiya? Uh, the old man seriously hated getting his picture taken. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah, we need, yeah. we need to find this guy. Don't I think, let him get away. I think we found our guy. Found our serial killer. Found yep, our serial yep, killer. Yep, 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 yep. Told you. Yep, 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 yep. I didn't expect, expect this at I all. I did! I did! I knew this from the start, because I've seen your dead body, Mio. Uh oh! <laughs> oh, now he knows! Oh, he no! knows! He knows! We're gonna get got eventually, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you would've killed Mio too, we've <clears throat> seen that too, yep. <clears throat> Good thing I didn't say anything, winks to camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, about the Feast of Shadows. <clears throat> Come on, long arm of the law. I love it. So there is a mastermind behind the Feast of Shadows. Somebody had to have basically done... Now the curse. Now the curses exist. Hmm. I mean, we got some information, but I don't know how we can actually go upon it. Like, how supernatural are we going? I, I mean, know we have curses. But... I, mean, I mean, there's like layers to this. There's like regular person yeah. who isn't involved. There's regular person who is involved and knows what's going on. There's the curse bearers. The, the, then there's like the active curse bearers that are like you know trying to kill people and mm -hmm. you know get make the right happen. Right. And then there's the person at the top of the pyramid, the person who's causing all this to happen, the mastermind, the mastermind who's overseeing everything right now. So I doubt that the serial killer is the mastermind. We can rule that out. Yeah, that's just a name we called it. They might even be serial killings. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway... Yeah, someone who's orchestrated all of this. Hmm... It's, it's Hitomi Okuda! Oh my god! Oh no! See, I, I'm waiting for the curveball that it actually is secretly Mio. But the talismans... Those are protective charms, aren't they? Basically an anti-curse. An anti-curse. And if he gave his away, he immediately got cursed. Which means Hitomi's in the crossfire. 
But mm. why? That's what we need to find out is why. Not sure, but if you did, you'll see me with it before you tell me we tweave him before we die. We tweave. <laughs> Would you consider giving us Hitomi's contact information? Fuck you. I'd like to talk to her about this talisman. Uh, no. 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 Oh, it's okay. You don't seem like too bad of a cop. Not scary enough for a cop. But I doubt that'll be enough for her. She really doesn't want to end up becoming a suspect. Yeah, she's even wary of us. Ooh. So where's Yoshimi's fiance? We haven't found yes, her yet either. Yes, we need to find her. A lot of mysteries abound here. I want her to be a curse bearer too. That would just be perfect. So anyway. <laughs> uh, so we gotta find Mayu Chozawa. That's uh, Yoshimi's fiance. Mayu Chozawa. Okay, that's some new information. Tomi told me that I uh, gave her instructions in the event that something happened. Give the talisman to Mr. Akagoshi. Ooh. Oh. In Paranormal Affairs. Yay! The Chief of Paranormal Affairs. Might not even be real. Yeah, he doesn't exist. Nakagoshi's cases. Like Pepe Silvia. <laughs> All right. Well, file this one under Pepe Silvia. They got some new information, yes! The missing puzzle piece. Hi, guys. Scene of the crime? And then there's his body, you know. He doesn't even look that mangled in the outline. I figured, you know, arm would be flipped the opposite direction. And then he vanished. <laughs> he's no, on they, the run! No, they took the body with them to, to, into the morgue. Oh my god, he's on the run. He was stolen. He stole the mangled guy. It's like, I still got work for you. Curses of a curse still linger here. So no question, this was indeed a curse. Now, like, you know, oh, it could have been an accident like Michio's was because she died before the curses were activated. This is curse. 100 percent curso. Leaves behind a strong uh, trace. Huh. Comes with experience, I guess. You're like 16. I know, she kicks ass. I've saved this country three times over already. Oh my god, and you're not being heralded as a hero? <laughs> I, your, speed, I'm a, your speed reading. I'm a stone-cold killer, basically. <laughs> I could snap your neck at the, at the uh, click of my fingers. Alright, does Yako have anything to say? Hi, what was that thing you mentioned about Michio earlier? Don't you go bored or grudge? Did you know anything about her? Ooh, that's haunting. The grudge? Yeah, the, 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 no, I understood. Yeah, okay, okay. That was just a really good haunting. See, I can't do You're it. We're working on death rattle. Death rattle? That's, yeah, that's the way to put it. Looks great on the uh, microphone. The throat's a little raspy yeah, because it, of all the reading. Yeah, it really but... hurts, yeah. <laughs> uh, I was actually planning to resurrect her at first. Uh, yeah, I, I, uh -huh, I see. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, yes. Keep this a theory. Okay. After re-examining the crime scene, Amicio's death wasn't a suicide, but a vehicular homicide. Which we already know. We're just, just kind of covering our bases, essentially. Well, we're getting all the information that we know and giving it to new people so they have the information, too. We are all ah! connected. A speeding van. The I have a van! Yako, what's wrong? Are you okay? Curse, 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 curse. Yako. Well, I just had a premonition. Ooh, <laughs> cool. You're covered in sweat. She was able to see Michio moments before death. Interesting. Hmm. I have a premonition. Oh my god. 
I think I see the twist coming, Niskel Damas and Do you full do you really ride. think you see the twist? You yeah. don't you don't know where this game's going. I mean, I have an idea. I, I think all right, I, all right. I always think of fun twists. Uh, okay, buddy. Let me hear some theories. Let's go. Okay. While, uh, while while they're wrapping up, let's let's uh let's let's hear some theories so far. Well, I think the reason the fiance is missing is because she was the one driving the car. They must have been arguing, so the cop that was helping her accidentally killed her with a passing van, and that's why he got cursed to death, and also that's why the fiance is missing. What a twist! Oh, forensics. Up, oh, we're getting we're getting a call. Okay, okay, forensics. okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. They found uh, this on the ground, short distance away from the scene of the crime. Let's see. What is that? <gasps> a ribbon. A ribbon. Yeah, the kind you use to tie... Yes, <laughs> I, uh, thank you, Eric. I've seen that ribbon before! Oh, revelation, what he got? Yeah! Oh, oh, it's Michio's ribbon! Oh, shit. A vengeful spirit. Like, what did you, actually... What, what did you think it was? You threw your hands up prematurely. Uh, sorry, I thought it was somebody, like, posing as, <laughs> as Michio. Doesn't that mean that Michio was here? Are you sure? Definitely. I have the same one at home. We bought them together. This has to be hers. Did, did she come back to life somehow? Did somebody use the right of resurrection! If it actually existed, of course. What? <laughs> if she did go back to life, where would I go? That's the question. Hmm. She got her revenge on Genochi, but she may have more revenge to dish out. Is there anyone else you'd have a garage on? Well... <clears throat> well, what about the guy who killed her in the collision? No. She really did come back to life. And it's terribly sad that she's spending her new chance at life like this. Wouldn't you get revenge? Being obsessed with revenge is just such a tragic way to live. I mean, let me ask you personally, would you get revenge for the motherfucker that killed you? Revenge or live again? I like to live again and not waste the life I've been given just to kill mm. somebody all over. I guess. Alright. That's all we can tell you. That's all the information. You were a big help. Now we're all caught up. Yes. Start, mm. start the search for Nejima and Mayu Chozawa. That's a, that's that's a big thing. Yep. Nejima's out there. He's the janitor. He's fucking gone now. Called it. Mayu Chozawa is somewhere. We don't know where. She's definitely involved somehow. Find her now. Yes. And there's a mastermind behind all of this. No idea who it is. Find that person now. I like that the pyramid keeps stacking up. Oh yeah, lift the curse. All right, they're gonna go talk to Mr. Araiji. He is he is at a cafe, and that's the last thing we're gonna be doing. Bye, today. girls. That's the last thing we're doing today. Get all these talky bits out of the way before things start really taking off. Yes, more, more, more. So we got dead or alive. Susumi's next chapter. Or wait, that's uh, Haruai's next Haruai. chapter. Haruai. Look at that, because they're in front of Michio Shirai's place. Yeah. So we'll take care of that next time. But for right now, we're going to talk with Mr. Araishi at the cafe to close us out. What do you say, man? Oh, uh, I say yes. I say nay! Alright, here we go. The man responsible. The Kuro Kikyo Cafe! God, that's a mouthful. Why has it got to be so complicated? So, Kuro... Kuro Kikyo. Kuro Kikyo. Welcome to the cafe. There's a sticker. If you care about that. You know, normally you'd be breaking school rules just by stepping foot in a cafe. I'd be in hot water if you lied about having permission from the police. Remember that. <laughs> he does look quite posh. We know it'll be okay. So, what did you want to ask me? <laughs> Click on my face. About my curse down? Yeah, okay, if you would. R right, we wanted to ask you about this. Oh my, a curse stone! He said aloud. An Okame mask, that must mean the fool's procession! You two were at the school last night. Damn, they're of all places! <laughs> Yako, you're one of them! You're a curse bearer! Uh uh! Uh, uh, please calm down, Mr. Ar Araishi. Your reaction is too intense. It's kind of scaring me. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'm afraid I, get ahead I got ahead of myself. What is it that you wanted to know about just curse stone? Mm, what would be the best way? Uh, flatter him. Flatter him. Oh, yes, definitely. Just a brilliant teacher like you must know an awful lot about these curse stones. 
Well, it's true that I'm likely the person most well-versed in this matter. You're the only one we can count on, Mr. Araishi. Won't you help us, please? Lay on the charm. Uh, who am I now? <laughs> well, in that case, there's no harm in what you have to ask. Uh, hook, line, and sinker. Thank you. Let's see. Why is everything with the Rite of Resurrection and Seven Mystery Curse Stones happening now? Oh, ho! Taking an interest now that you've received one of the curses, have you? You sound like a researcher, starting your questioning with your subject's origin. Oh, God, it was way too easy to flatter this guy. Uh, Mr. Araishi, you're not the one who triggered the curse, are you? <gasps> no, I'm afraid. Why nothing to do with that? Rather, I wasn't even attempting to do so in the first place. Then how did you... Completing the right itself has nothing to do with my research. I mean, like, yeah, he knows all the research, but for him to be the mastermind, that seems kind of foolish. Oh, it's definitely. Like, oh, yeah, it'd be the perfect con, because, you know, going around, huh, how do, you, how do you start the mystery? How do you do all the rights? And he actually, you know, yeah, that'd be a long con, but that'd be stupid. It ain't this guy. It ain't it ain't this doofy-looking motherfucker. Yeah, we can cross him off the list. And do you know of the ancient Onmyota ritual known as the Feast of Shadows? What is that? Something from the occult? Yeah, I didn't know what that is. Alright, yep, not the mastermind. It, it ain't this and guy. And cross him off. Miss Kurosuzu, you look like the type to be interested in those things, but it's outside my field of expertise. I don't deal with that wish wash. <laughs> I don't read those occult rags. Rags. Um, in that case, <laughs> why do you think the right and curses have appeared now? I believe this is the intentional work of someone. Hmm, it's certainly not something that would happen by accident. Why is it you want to know? Well, uh... Uh -huh. He may not tell us anything else if we say that we're trying to stop the curse. We need to make something up. Right. Okay. <sighs> make something up. <laughs> that was the only choice? Well, you see, we just have such intellectual curiosity and, uh, I think it can really help your research. I see. Now that you mention it, um... Mm, thinking really hard. It seems like he's reluctant to answer. Um, then how about it? Uh, act, uh his research. Um, then, d what does the Record of Fates that you've been researching say about the Rite of Resurrection? Oh, I see. That's what you want to know. Allow me to first elucidate you regarding the author of the Record of Fates. Special privilege, I might add, since I have yet to publish this in the paper. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> nerd. <laughs> <laughs> the Record of Fates was written 200 years ago in the latter half of the Edo period. Mm, it was written okay. by a skilled but little known on Myoji called Seiman Tsuchimikado. This is important stuff, and nothing else, remember this. Okay. Seiman Tsuchimikado? Never heard of him. Sure, you haven't. He was born into a famed on Myoji family, but split away to practice forbidden arts in secret. He used whatever name was most convenient for the situation, so his real name barely exists in records. Or so it is written in the Record of Fates. Hmm. Huh. As brilliant as Seiman was, he was also an eccentric. He delved into researching the Rite of Resurrection, a legendary forbidden ritual that had never been completed. However, by involving himself with this forbidden ritual, he was expelled from his family and eventually found himself in Honjo in Edo. The Record of Fates are the writings of Seiman recorded, uh, Seiman recorded on the road to Edo. I see. Hmm. So he wrote how to perform the rite itself? The Rite of Resurrection makes use of Abe no Seimei's specialty, the Taizan Fukun Ritual, a means of communicating with the afterlife. It uses soul drakes to replicate the soul of a dead spirit that has been called. Oh wow, I never knew something like that hmm. existed. Thus, it is thought the only ones who can use it are those with the ability to turn human souls into soul dregs in the first place. So the Rite of Resurrection calls for that ritual to be, to be performed in advance. Then, when the soul dregs are gathered and infused with the wish of whoever is performing the ritual, it can be completed! The contents written in the Record of, F in the record of Fates end there. Oh, that was a nice transition. There's no more? What about the Seven Mysteries or the Cursed Stones? Uh. <laughs> nothing Th written. Throws his hands up. There's <laughs> <laughs> nothing written about them in the Record of Fates. The Cursed Stones are separate from the Rite of Resurrection. What? Their curse is one used to enable one who is unable to perform such rituals to be able to use the rite. Wait! Oh, that's similar to what Mio said, actually. Wait a minute! So the Cursed Stones are separate? Excuse me, Mr. Araishi? What is it, Miss Karsuzu? You published a theory before the incident took place. It said that the Rite of Resurrection and Origin of the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo are related somehow. What proof did you have of that? 
You wouldn't know your stuff, but about that. That was a somewhat sensationalized piece written for occult magazines. Oh, really? It was just nonsense, nonsense then? then. Uh, no, <laughs> not exactly. Rather, it's not a complete fabrication. There is a basis for it. And that is... Hogwash! Well, <laughs> I suppose there's no harm in telling a couple of students so passionate about this topic. Thank you. Uh, this is something I discovered from referencing numerous texts unrelated to the Record of Fates. It was just after Seiman arrived in Honjo. There are records of a conflict over a ritual used to resurrect the dead in Honjo. Oh. A conflict over resurrecting the dead? I don't know the details. The man enticed the public with claims of a spell that could resurrect the dead, causing a conflict that ended tragically with nine dead. So wait a minute, it was all bullshit to begin with? That is the only remaining reference. Oh, I love that. Nine people fighting, fighting over, over a resurrection, resurrection ritual. Trial. Holy ritual. shit. I call this tragedy the Honjo Incident, and it has long been the subject of my research. And I suspect that this Honjo Incident might be the very origin of the seven mysteries of Honjo. So what you're saying is, the resurrection ritual at the root of the Honjo Incident is Seiman's Rite of Resurrection? Yes, that is how the Record of Fates ties everything together. Oh, I love this. To put this. it in chronological order, first Seiman brought the Rite of Resurrection to Edo. Okay. You can assume that by this point Seiman was likely using a different name. Then in Honjo, nine people fought to the death over this rite, the Honjo Incident. After that, the incident was covered up by an interested party, preventing it from being recorded in history fully. Eventually, it was passed down in incomplete pieces, becoming known as the Seven Mysteries of Honjo. Oh my god. That more or less covers the course of events. Me likey. Yes, me likey info. So that's how they're connected. Then if I'm getting this right, the Seven Mysteries were basically required to get the soul dregs necessary for the right. Oh. How are they related to the right? <laughs> and there's more. Stroking ego. With this most recent occurrence of the curse, I've been- I've become even more confident in my theory. You are? Yes, the reason for it being, the re the resentful memories of the seven mysteries etched into those who received the curse stones. Oh, resentful memories. Yaka, if you really are a curse bearer- Curse me now. Then when you obtained your curse stone, you would have had a ha- you would have had a resentful memory imprinted in your mind. Oh, I did. Exactly. Those memories are what happened in the final moments of the Nine who died in the Honjo Incident. <sighs> Broadly speaking, they oh involve God. dying while bearing some kind of deep resentment. Yes. The Nine victims became the Nine Curse Echoes, which over time came to be spoken of as the Seven Mysteries. Thus gathering the resentful memories granted by the present curses and connecting them together, it will reveal once and for all what happened during the, con the Honjo Incident. Huh. <laughs> That's why you must tell me about the resentful memory of your fool's position, Yako! <laughs> Mio, should I? Yeah, I think it's okay. We need all the information we can get. Uh, Alright, well... Okay, Mr. Araishi, I'll tell you about the memory of the fool's possession. Excellent. Excellent. Telling about the fool's possession. So basically, it's about a woman who died falling from a Yagura tower at a festival. <laughs> Interesting, yes. It's not that one, then. Oh? Not that one? What do you mean? Among the nine victims of the Honjo incident, that is to say, the nine curse echoes, one of them is Seiman himself. What? Or so I suspect. Oh my god! Huh? Seiman was one of the victims at the Hanjo incident too? DUDE! Meaning an Onmyoji as powerful as him also became a curse echo? Oh, right. It would make sense that the curse stone tied to a curse echo like that would be special. How? The power of a curse stone is different based on the curse echo? Mio! 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 Then maybe with Seiman's curse echo we could... Yes, we may be able to settle this whole situation. Uh, hey! What are you two whispering about? Shut up, old man! Nothing, sorry! So anyway, resentful memories. Mr. Araishi, how many of the resentful memories have you gathered so far? I have learned a number of them. The Evergreen Beach, the Footwashing Mansion, the Everburning Lantern, and now the Force Possession makes so that, four. That's four, okay. Of those, the most important are the Footwashing Mansion and the, the Evergreen, Evergreen Beach. Beast. 
What are they about? First, the foot washing mansion. And Onmyoji appears distinctly in this one. Really? But not Seiman, I'm afraid. A female Onmyoji who sought the right of resurrection due to her obsession with her personal appearance. Ooh. Her legs, which she always taken pride in, were stricken with corruption after she was defeated by Seiman. Her curse echo is notable for being particularly easy to fulfill the requirements necessary to use the curse. That detective did well to escape this one. So if... So a female on Miyoji and rival of Seiman was involved in the Honjo incident. That certainly is interesting. Next, the Evergreen Beach. This mm. curse echo is from a craftsman of Netsuke carving his name Jinkichi, who was hanged for spreading baseless rumors. He apparently spoke of something that granted the ability to bring back the dead. The Rite of Resurrection! Mm -hmm. Precisely. This man, Jinkichi, must have been in contact with Seiman. If I could just collect all of the memories, everything will be revealed and the truth of the Seven Mysteries will be mine. That's the knowledge I desire! That paper's gonna be bitchin'. Meaning you need to gather as much information as you can from the Curse Bearers. Precisely! I have an agreement to exchange information with those detectives, but they might not even find the other Curse Bearers, so I must take measures of my own. So... Another thing. Yes? You never really finished about what the trigger for all this was. Well... Um, yeah, yes, tell me, tell me. I don't know. Oh, damn it. Really? <laughs> As she gets closer to his face. You're not hiding something from us, are you? Stare. It has something to do with how you obtain the Record of Fates, right? Stare. How did you really get a hold of the Record of Fates? To tell you the truth, we're in a race against time. It could be a disaster if we don't hurry. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yes, 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 yes. Someone left a warning that at sundown today, there would be th they would use the curse to kill a lot of people. The one who left that message is a culprit behind the Nejima murders from 20 years ago. What? Something so terrible would happen! It I won't allow potentially hundreds of people to become victims of a curse. I'll do anything in my power to stop it. Come on! Mr. Araishi, please! Tell us everything you know! Out with it, man! I'm sorry, but I truly don't know anything. Bullshit! The truth is, I was given the record of fates by a woman. A woman? Who that? But her voice sounded like a woman's, but I didn't actually see what she looked like. One month ago, when I was investigating at night, I suddenly heard a formless voice. A woman's voice? It said, I entrust you with this ancient manuscript, and the rite of resurrection held within its pages. Spread rumors of this ritual as far and wide as you can in the coming month. Before I knew it, I know document had, had, had fallen down at my feet. One month? Did you specify the time period? I was told if I did that, I could study the manuscript as much as I pleased. I wanted so badly to verify its authenticity, I ended up accepting. I haven't heard anything from the voice since then. They must have had you sp mm. must have had you spread rumors in order to strengthen the power of the curse. To tie together the curse and the desire to seek out the right. This makes it likely that the owner of the voice is the mastermind behind all this. It's Michio! Hence I went public with the record of fates. Hihaku and occult magazines immediately jumping at the news was a financial boon for me. Huh. Hihaku? As in Hihaku soaps? Oh my god! <laughs> right, I mean, no, that's not important. Just some personal business. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I use a lot of soap. After that, I waited, trying to predict what would occur in a month's time. That's when the curse began. Those are all the details I have. Okay, that's fine. Is there anything else, though? Very well, I've told you this much. I may as well give you one more thing. Yes! Thank you. What might that be? About Seiman's Record of Fates. There's sort of a continuation to it. Another document called the Record of Fates Yin Scroll. A continuation? Oh, no. Actually, a section written in Seiman's own hand was, ap uh. was appended to the manuscript. <laughs> according to which, after the Honjo incident, Seiman lamented such a calamity taking place. He apparently wrote the addendum for the event of the tragedy <gasps> became its own curse. Oh. It seems he had an idea that the victims of the Honjo incident would turn into curse echoes and be used to gather soul dregs. It supposedly details how to handle any trouble that occurs as a result of the Rite of Resurrection. Oh. Really? Hold on a second. Don't you find that strange? What's the matter, Miss Sakazaki? You think my information is inaccurate? If Seiman died in the Honjo incident, then he couldn't have written an addendum. You really don't get it, do you? 
Oh, am I wrong? Have you forgotten the ability Saman possessed? Of oh. course not. He could use the right of resurrection. Wrong! Oh. You're telling me Saman used it on himself? The right of resurrection can be carried out in advance so that it activates when the soul dregs are gathered together. Then it is not possible that Saman himself was resurrected by the right after he after it all took place. But he'd still have to collect the soul dregs needed to use the right, correct? Yes, and that's why they died. The eight others besides Saman. What? They died in the Honjo incident for their soul dregs? That sounds like it's just like it's the same as what's happening now. That's why I need the resentful memories to learn the truth. Yeah, he's definitely not the mastermind. I get it now. The issue at hand is that the Yin Scroll and the Record of Fates were supposed to have been passed down as a set. When I received the Record of Fates, the Yin Scroll was gone. Only this information was left. Supposedly, Saman's blood descendants guarded it as they passed down across generations. Oh, who's related? It seems that over their long history, the two documents became separated and the scroll's location lost as the family line branched. Saman had descendants? So there's someone out there related to him by blood even now? Yes, in, in fact, I've tried to trace the line as far as I could go. He wasn't a well-known Omnioji to begin with, so a detailed family tree does not exist. It seems likely that the use of the manuscript has, lo has been long forgotten, only being passed down out of tradition. And since they aren't even aware of what they have, tracking it down is quite tricky indeed. I wish I could ask whoever that voice belonged to about the Yin Scroll. Sure you do. So basically... In the Record of Fate's Yin Scroll, Saman himself wrote about ways to handle the curse and the right, yes? Yes, that's right. I've been searching for it all this time, but haven't found a single lead. So if you two find out anything ab ab about other resentful memories or Yin Scroll, tell me immediately. You owe me that much for telling you all this, do you not? That's the real extent of everything I know. Nice! Recorded! Info! Yes! Yes, I understand. Info! 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 Thank you for your help. If you bring me some useful information, I'll take it into consideration for your school grades as well. <laughs> oh, that was a bit more, uh, <laughs> a bit more scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to die. Jovial laugh, come on. Ha <laughs> ha! Street! Hello! <laughs> As we slow scroll over. We've learned a lot. Mm, so you're showing up. There was a tragic incident with people cursing each other for the Rite of Resurrection in the Edo period as well. And the Record of Fates Yin Scroll may have info we want since it details how to stop the Rite. I think that's about it. Right. If we could just find the Yin Scroll, we might be able to learn how to settle the situation. Yeah, but even Mr. Aichi didn't have any lead on where it is. Who do we do working for it? Someone involved in this now must have some connection to it, I think. As they stare at the audience? D not me! No, oh, no, no, I don't know. I have a feeling the mastermind who awakened the curses is involved too. Right. What do we do next? So, Mio, what are we going to do next? Good question. Nothing. It may be best to give the information we just learned to Inspector Tsutsumi. We got a pretty big clue from hearing about the Record of Fate's Yen Scroll. So Tsutsumi might know more about it. Right, audience? <laughs> right. Uh, we should we go back to school then? Yeah. That's our point of contact, after all. So, about the Mastermind. I was behind that voice that gave Mr. Araishi the Record of Fate's. That must be the mastermind, don't you think, audience? <gasps> oh, audience, what do you think? Yeah, and he said it sounded like it belonged to a woman. So our mastermind is probably female. All right, put a bullet in that. Whoever it is, I bet they're scary, right, audience? Huh? You don't sound like the Yako I know. Then let's catch him and make him spill the beans. I thought you'd say something like that. Don't put words in my mouth. I guess I'm just not really feeling that confident right now. I understand. 
So anyway, about the nearby. Uh, okay, about the nearby mastermind. I don't know if it's related to that woman behind the voice, but I'm also interested in the female on Miyoji who was a rival of Seima. Ooh, yes. Oh, that reminds me, Mio. I forgot to buy milk today. No, oh, no. You know what's nearby here, don't you? A store to buy milk. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you you mean Ramichio? Yeah, where it happened. I was going there every day to leave flowers. Even though they always get cleared away anyways. I'm sure it must be hard to have to be reminded of Michio's death all the time. Oh, that reminds me. Yako? Did you buy milk? Yeah. You, you want to play Burnout 3 later? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> when you asked me to do the spirit board two days ago, did you come here on that day too? Yeah, I left some flowers before going to school. Why? Did anything seem different that day? Uh, what's this all of a sudden? Hmm, though, now that you mention it... That day, I suddenly felt lightheaded and ended up passing out for a little bit. Y y what? But I came, uh, came to right away and felt fine, so I didn't think anything of it. I see. That's all I was wondering about, Bex. Mm-hmm, mm. <laughs> Excuse me, you girls over there! <laughs> um, Whoa! Oh, no, it's this guy. Sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but something you said caught my attention. Um, and who might you be? Your worst nightmare, Yutaro Namigaki. Uh, I should probably tell you. Until yesterday, I was a curse bearer. That should clear things up. <laughs> God, I'm cold! Oh, you don't need to be scared. I've already given up the curse stone of the foot washing mansion. The foot washing mansion? So you're the one Inspector Tsutsumi was talking about. Ah, <laughs> you already know Inspector Tsutsumi. That makes this simple. There's nothing to worry about. And then he starts shooting. Yes. Oh, hey! You're... In the driver's seat! <gasps> oh, fuck! Yako? Oh, fuck! Yes! Wait, what? Just now, I... Was I doing something? Uh, sorry. Mr. Namigaki, what might... What might be the matter? <laughs> right. I actually wanted to discuss something with you two. Would you come with me if you have a little time? Discuss something? With us? You were talking about Michio Shiraishi, right? It's related to that. Oh shit. Huh? Oh shit. I'm sure you would you would learn a few things yourselves. If not now, later is fine. I'll be waiting around Ryugoku Bridge. Something rubs me the wrong way about this, but he mentioned Michio. What do we do? Take the bait, 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 take the bait. Well, I suppose you may as well hear what it is you have to say. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Then shall we relocate elsewhere? And so they relocated elsewhere. In death. Still at 1 p.m., surprisingly. Uh, maybe they don't count 30 or 45. Maybe it's, like, compacted, so it's, like, a couple blocks away. It's the grand 1 o'clock. Well, yeah. Maybe it's, like, 1.53. So, what did you want to discuss with us? Let's see. How do I put this? I'll tell you straight. I want you two to use your curse stones to bring Michio Shiraishi back from the dead. What? Oh, God. Huh? It's why I was pursuing the Rite of Resurrection in the first place. Unfortunately, I had to give up my curse stone before I could succeed. But you two are curse bearers with some kind of connection to her. Which means this is the perfect opportunity for me to ask you this. Um, well... Uh, I'm sorry, this is all so sudden. I still don't understand why you would want this. Uh, yeah, Yako, I've got the same face. What exactly is your relationship with Michio? I ran her over. Well, we met briefly once. I was so sad didn't hear the news of her death the other day. Right. Well, it would be great if we could bring Michio back. But we've already decided not to use the Rite of Resurrection. And Dead. so they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Is that so? It seems, however, that we share a goal. 
I wouldn't mind collecting the soul dregs for you if you gave me your curse stone, you know. We'll have to decline that as well. Our goal is to stop this curse. Hmm. Uh, uh, what? I see. Well, that's too bad. I suppose I'll have to give up on the curse stones. Thank you for understanding. Uh, ah, creepazoid. Yako? I thought he was a little suspicious, but he left without making a fuss. But why does he want to bring Michio back? Huh? Yako? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Did she go off somewhere while we were talking? Oh, no. She, like, Yako! She, like, vanished. Yako! I finally caught up to you. I don't know if you noticed me following you or not, but leading me to a secluded place, you've got guts. I'm sorry, but I'll be taking your curse stone. Either you hand it over, or I'll have to take it by force. This was the worst thing we could do. For him. Uh. Oh, why are you? No, no, no. She's here again. I don't understand. Huh? Huh? Wait, it was just an accident. I swear, I didn't mean to. That's why I was trying to bring you back. Stop it, there it is. You are already too late. <laughs> okay. That was awesome. <laughs> but doing a smash cut to credits is not what I expected. So is that one of the different endings? This is a bad ending that we have stumbled into. For him. You, you, you can tell it's a good ending when, you know, we have more, uh, uh, good, we, uh, more... Positive outcome, probably. Lilting, uplifting music, and yeah. the, the, the credits go slower as so, well. So, Yaka was pretending to be... Oh, man, that changes my theories. Well, that's certainly, that's certainly a thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that well, changes, I mean, that, huh. that changes a lot, actually. Holy crap, that's awesome! So yeah, we, we we ran into a bad ending there. After this, Fu Fumichi Kanejima went on to use the power of the cu his curse to commit mass murder, oh. shocking the public with the unprecedented tragedy. And from that day on, Yako Sakazaki was never heard her from friend. again. So that's her bad ending. Wow, what a revelation. Wow. Oh, ending one. Seriously. That was awesome. Okay. Let's, let's, uh, all right. Last thing we'll do today. Sorry to keep you guys here for so long. <laughs> let's, let's get the good ending and move things forward. So wait, are we actually giving away the curse stone? Why would we do that? I mean, it would be stupid. You guys over there. <laughs> hey, press plus. I want to see what happens. Yep. Let's skip all it that. It does work. And go to school. No way. We're out of here, loser. Yep. Bye. Peace. Sorry, but there's something we gotta take care of. Let the pass. Hey. Uh, Shit. Uh, is that so? <laughs> I love this loser. That's well, not, that's too bad. That's not according to Keikaku at all. <laughs> I'm in no rush, so I'll be waiting at Ryo Goku Bridge if you change your minds. And so they went to school. <laughs> yes! And it's so they went to school! <laughs> <laughs> okay, awesome! Oh, that's fantastic. All right. Now it's time for things to start getting interesting. We got a lot of talky bits out of the way. We've uh, connected the bridge between chapter one and chapter two. All the characters are starting to get a better understanding of what's going on. We're getting a, a clearer picture of the plot. And now we're ready to start moving forward by going back an hour to Haraway's new chapter, Dead or Alive, which we're, which we're gonna do right now. All right, start, start me on What? I, I, I'm kidding. Okay. <sighs> Okay. See you next time on Paranormal Sight!